Welcome to this tutorial video, the first in a series of videos about the settings in piano motifs. In this series, we will show you how to harness its versatile settings to effortlessly create unique, original, and beautiful music. This first video will concentrate on piano motifs' general settings. If you're new to piano motifs, we recommend watching the Getting Started tutorial on this channel. It's a great way to get familiar with the app's basic functionality before diving into more advanced features. Let's get started. In the settings section, you can determine the key, scale, and time signature of the motif you want to generate. This was already covered in the Getting Started tutorial. Press more settings to access the rest of the piano motif settings. We will start with the random scale setting. This setting will only be accessible when the scale is set to random in the main screen. With this setting, you can constrain what scales you want to choose from for a motif. As an example, we will constrain the scale to be either major or minor. Press done to confirm your choices or cancel to revert them. We will now move to the program chord progression setting. Press new to open the program chord progression screen. If you haven't set the key and scale, the app will default to a C major scale for the progression. Press OK to continue. Before entering a progression, you can listen to the different available chords by pressing Audition and then pressing the chords. Please note that when using the app as an AUV3 like in this tutorial, the accompaniment channel needs to be routed in the host to an instrument for the chord to play. Now let's enter a chord progression. First, we turn off Audition mode by pressing Audition. Chords are entered sequentially for each bar of the motif by pressing on the chord buttons. Here we enter an A minor, F major, C major, G major progression. You can make edits to your progression. When you press on a progression chord, you will be given a contextual menu with options to copy, clear, or delete the chord. Let's copy the A minor chord and then paste it on bar 5 by pressing on that empty bar entry and selecting Paste. Now let's insert the A minor chord between bar 3 and bar 4 by pressing on bar 4 and selecting Insert. Let's say we want to delete that chord. We just press the chord and select Delete. And finally, to clear the chord on bar 5, we press the chord and select Clear. You can add silent bars to the progression. To add a silent bar on bar 5, we press Add Silence. Let's delete that silent bar. The progression screen has many more settings that cover things like chord variations, chord extensions, and different borrowed chords. The details of these will be covered in a separate video. Once you are done editing the chord progression, you can press Done, which will take you back to the settings screen. Pressing Done here takes you back to the main screen. Let's now generate a motif with that 4-bar progression. Press Generate, and then press Play in the AUM host. Let's continue exploring the settings. We will now look at the Octave's min-max setting. When this setting has its default values, Piano Motifs generates motifs in a random octave range, which normally spans about two to four octaves to accommodate for both the melody and accompaniment of a motif. This setting allows you to constrain the octave range you want your motif to have. Here, we're setting the range to be from octave two to octave four. Let's generate and play a motif within this range. Please note that piano motifs might not use all the range, but will constrain the motif to be in that range. Let's continue now to the bars setting. This setting will determine the number of bars a motif will have. You can set the number of bars to be as low as one bar and up to 128 bars. If you have defined a chord progression like we had done before, the chord progression will be cleared if you define the number of bars. This, because a chord progression itself defines the number of bars in a motif. Here, we decline setting the number of bars by pressing Cancel. This is a good time to talk about a useful function in the settings screen. The Reset button located at the top center of the screen. Let's reset all settings we have until now by pressing this Reset button. Let's continue to the multi-chord bars setting. When this setting is the default, 
Motifs generated will sometimes have bars with more than one chord, but most of the times will have one chord per bar. When this setting is off, motifs generated will have one chord per bar. When this setting is on, motifs generated will have more than one chord per bar. Let's set multi-chord bars on and the number of bars to four. Let's generate and play a motif with these settings. Let's set multi-chord bars back to default and continue to the next setting, a comp style. The a comp style defines what type of accompaniment you want for a motif. There are many accompaniment styles, and some of them have many different options and programmable features. We will cover the accompaniment styles in a future video. For now, you can check out this channel for a tutorial series called a comp style tutorial series which covers some of the styles. The next setting is Melody Constraint. This setting allows you to constrain the melody in certain ways. Just as the accompaniment styles, there's a lot of different constraints you can apply to the melody which also have different options and programmable features. We will cover the melody constraints in a future video. Let's move now to the third track setting. The third track is a track that is generated by piano motifs when it is enabled in the MIDI settings as described in the Getting Started tutorial. It is also generated when you specify the MIDI 3 track or MIDI 3 file option when exporting a motif. The default for this setting is Chord Sustain. When Chord Sustain is chosen for the third track, piano motifs will generate a single chord per bar on the third track, which is ideal for pads, strings, choir instruments. To show how this third track works, we will now program a 4-bar chord progression. Let's generate a new motif. In the AUM host, we will mute the piano which plays the melody and accompaniment and just leave the third track played on Rolly Noise on. Let's play the motif in AUM. The chord sustain has the option of having a multi-bar sustain. When multi-bar sustain is on, the chord will be sustained for multiple bars if it remains the same in the progression. Let's generate and play a motif with this option on. Please note that the third track chord sustain works better for chord and arpeggio accompaniments or when a progression has been programmed. The third track has another option, and it is the drone option. When the drone is selected, a popover window is displayed, where you can choose the drone note and octave to be played. This drone note will be held for the duration of the motif. Let's select the C note on octave one and generate a motif. In a UM, we have unmuted the piano and increased the volume of the third track to better appreciate the effect of the drone note. Let's play the motif in AUM. Before continuing to the next setting, let's press reset to reset all settings to their default. The next setting is MIDI Export Loop Ready. When this option is on, the number of bars for both melody and accompaniment are the same, so the MIDI file is ready for looping. The default for this option is off. When this option is off, the melody might have a note at the end of the motif that extends for more bars than that of the accompaniment, to avoid abrupt ends for the melody. Now, we will take a look at a pin motif mode. When this mode is on, if you generate a new motif, it will be appended to the previous motif or motifs, forming an arrangement. Let's turn a pin motif mode on. We will append four bar motifs. Since there's already a motif that had been generated before in the main screen, you need to press next to be able to generate a new one. When you press next, a dialog window will appear asking you to either keep or discard the previous motif. Let's discard the previous motif to start a new arrangement. 
Let's generate and play a new motif. Now, we will press next to append a new motif. This time we're going to choose keep, since we like the motif. Let's generate and play a new motif. Let's say we didn't really like this motif, so we press next and then discard. Let's generate and play another motif. To see what we have up to now, you need to go to the Arrange screen. Make sure you have paused play in AUM, or else you will not be able to access the Arrange button. Press Arrange. As you can see, we have two sections in this arrangement, each section containing a motif that we have appended. Let's go back to the main screen by pressing Done. On the lower right corner you can see how many sections, denoted by S, and how many bars, denoted by B, your current arrangement has. In this arrangement there are two sections and eight bars. Now we'll play the arrangement in AUM. Make sure that you rewind the AUM beat count since the arrangement will start at beat count 1. And that is how a pin motif mode works. Try it in combination with the lock function to create complete songs out of your motifs. Let's reset the settings and move to the random velocity setting. When this setting is on, the note velocities will have a random shift up or down from their default values. This random shift is determined by a stepper control which has a range of 1 to 64. The default value of the stepper is 10. This means that the velocities of the notes in the motif will have shifts that are between minus 10 and plus 10 from their default values. In most cases, you would want to keep this value lower than 16 to avoid abrupt changes in velocity between notes, adding a humanization effect. To better illustrate its effect, we will set the value to 32 in this example. Let's generate and play a motif. And with this, we finalize this tutorial dedicated to the general settings of piano motifs. In future videos we will be exploring the melody, accompaniment, and UI settings. If you found this tutorial useful please like this video. In this channel you will find lots of tutorials and demos for piano motifs, so subscribe to the channel.